What's up guys, my name is JR the Lion Ridge and this is Kitchen Talk with Tomboy and Address. The only place where sports and cooking come together. Hey everyone, how are you? It's me, Tomboy in the Dress. We're back for season two of my sports and cooking show. So my next guest, you guys, I'm going to let him introduce himself. So JR, come on in here. So JR, thank you for joining us. This thank is Kitchen Talk me. with me, Tomboy in the Dress. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everyone. Hi, I'm JR, the Lion Ridge, and I am a bare knuckle boxer. Hey, so how long have you been fighting? Um, I've been fighting for over 15 years. I, I did take a, a, a break in between, mm -hmm. but um, just so happened life went full circle and I'm back, back to it. So no one we spoke yesterday, you said you were in retail. So yeah, yeah. why the big jump from retail into yeah. fighting? Because that's a total, totally different career. So why the change in careers? Yeah, so long story short, um, the reason why I took a break from fighting um, in my mid-20s is that uh, I hurt my back. Oh, yeah. And, yes. at the, and at the time, the sport that I was doing, um, I wasn't a rich man. So okay. I, <laughs> okay. I didn't make a lot of money. I didn't make mm -hmm. a lot of money like the UFC guys. Mm -hmm. um, the plus side of it, I got to travel at a young age. Oh, like I, I got to go all where over, have you been? All over the world. I've been all over, I fought most of my fight, fights in China. And oh. I fought many times in China, in different parts of China. But, uh, yeah, at the time, I, I was a broke fighter. and okay. uh, We have to start somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. We have to start yeah. somewhere. And I, I got hurt, and I decided that it would be better just to take a break. Okay. Yeah. So UFC, boxing, kick fighting, so is that the same thing? Like, explain to everyone, is there a difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like UFC is uh, mixed martial arts, which, which is everything. It has boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, wrestling, mm. jiu-jitsu. It's all into one, one sport in MMA. Um, boxing uh, is strictly boxing. Um, in, in my case, um, I fight for BKFC. That is a promotion, uh, the, the biggest promotion in bare knuckle boxing. And, oh, the um, biggest, you the guys. Biggest the biggest, promotion. you guys. <laughs> Shout out to BKFC. <laughs> Thank you for signing me. Um, yeah, so. Boxing is boxing, it's just strictly your hands. And oh, um, okay. So, bare knuckle boxing, it's. it's no it's, legs? You don't use your legs? No legs, yep. Oh. Yep, it's just boxing. So, which, so, the guys that are in the cage, that's not what you do. That's cage fighting? That's something totally different? Yes, yes. That's, wow. Yeah, the, in the cage, uh, it, it's MMA. So, that's everything. It's, it's everything put into one. So, wrestling, jiu jitsu, boxing kickboxing is all in one so what was that when you told me yesterday was it so, i can't pronounce yeah, yeah. it so, so the, so, the, yeah the, pronounce the sport, that spell it for them okay, too so the sport <laughs> that i fought uh professionally and in the, when i first started out is, is a sport called sand shoe spell yeah, it for them spell it s-a-n-s-h-o-u and it's actually pronounced pronounced sand show sand show and, it, and it's okay. it's china's national sport so like muay thai is thailand's national sport and basically what Sanshu is, is uh, it's a mix between boxing, mm -hmm. kickboxing, and judo. So you find a boxing ring. Um, so you can punch, kick, elbow, knee, and also throw each other. So you can use your legs in yes. Sanju. Sancho, yeah. Sanshua. Yeah, yeah, say it, say it again. S-A-N-S-H-O-U. So Sanshu. Sanshu. Yeah. Okay. So is that the, okay, so I remember you told me that you're, you grew up in the Philippines. So when did you come over here? Uh, I didn't necessarily, I didn't grow up. Oh, you're from the Philippines. Yeah, I apologize. You're from, from there. Yeah, I'm from, from the Philippines. There. Yeah. Um, born there. I came to the States when I was three. Three? Yeah. Okay. And you told me you're the only one in your family that fights. Yes. And you have brothers and sisters and they do not fight. They do not fight. But they support you. They support me. Yeah. Okay. And you said you have a girlfriend as well. I do. She's here <laughs> today. So she's right there. You guys can't see her, but she's behind the camera. So how was that? So I remember we were speaking about, you know, when you're a professional athlete and you're dating. So is that kind of difficult? Because what if they're not supportive? You told me she's supportive. Yeah, she is. <laughs> so you said she's very supportive. So how is it dating when you're a professional athlete, especially uh, a fighter? Yeah, yeah. Dating, <laughs> dating when you're a professional athlete is, can be good and can and sometimes be difficult. Choose your words carefully. Yeah, She's right there. It can be <laughs> difficult. Okay. Um, and the reason why I say difficult, it doesn't mean that, you know, by any means, like having a relationship 
while competing and while fighting is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It's 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 better if your significant other is very supportive because mm -hmm. you know one thing that you know a fighter an athlete in any combat sports there's a lot of temptation. Lot, lot not not even uh -oh. a lot of temptation. I mean, in some cases, but I, I I don't even deal with that stuff anymore. Okay. But um, there's a lot of. Uh, sacrifices that you have. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. with the diets and the time spent and and just your everyday life is is, is time consuming. Yeah, time consuming, and it's definitely a lifestyle that if your significant other doesn't support that, then it's very difficult. Um, but she's your backbone. She is. Yes. She's. So if you're having a bad day or if you've lost a fight, how does she keep you going? Ah, uh, well. <laughs> If it's if you're having a bad day in training, like leading up to the fight, mm -hmm. you know, it's definitely mentally it's 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 tough on you because okay. you as a as a combat sports athlete, it's it's only you all the time. Really. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have your teammates to train with you, but when you're competing, it's only you. Only you. So mm -hmm. you can get in your head pretty easily, and um, in those times where you do, you know, get in your head and and, and you know start doubting and. And the negativity starts to over. She's you know, there. Yeah, she's definitely there um, to help out with that. That's so, cool. yeah. so speaking of leading up to the fight, so leading up to the fight, you know, this is a sports and cooking show. But as you know, Tom B's due to COVID, a lot of things have changed the past two years. So we're going to improvise today. But we, I do want to talk about with you training. So leading up to a fight, what's something that you eat or where you're training? What's your training routine? So leading up to the fight, like I normally do a, a eight week camp. So basically. <laughs> No carbs? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely minim, minimal carbs. So I do most of my carbs in the morning. My diet is pretty strict. It's actually very strict. Um, mm, okay. I do all my carbs in the morning because that gives me time to burn off all those those carbs throughout my day. And also gives that's me a, that's a fitness fact, guys. Yeah, fitness, fitness fact. fact. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then uh, when I'm cutting my weight, you know, obviously it's it's lean proteins mixed in mm. with, you know, lots of vegetables, mm. um, salads, <laughs> um, spinach. I mean, there's different ways, like, I mean, I'm, I'm talking for any any athlete that has to cut weight, like, you get yeah. sick and tired of chicken and broccoli. Really? You get sick and tired of chicken. I love chicken and broccoli. Chicken What's and wrong broccoli? with chicken Yo, and broccoli? It's, it's good. It tastes good, but so, it just gets old. So sometimes you got to mix it up. Like, I've, there's there's times where I, I, I've put different seasoning on the broccoli. Okay. Like... You know, prepared it differently. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's 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 a very strict diet. So lean proteins for lunch and dinner, snacks in between. Um, if you start feeling like you know down or crappy, mm -hmm. uh, which I would eating yeah, all of that. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. And that's because that's because your sugar's a little low. So oh. one thing that I tell people and uh, once you start feeling feeling crappy is you need to uh, make sure you have electrolytes in your body and also. Mm -hmm. Your sugar's low when you have a headache or you're feeling down. So eat like an apple, have an orange, have a piece of fruit. Eat apple, food. orange, yeah. fruit, banana. So, okay, that's, just, that's your little fitness tip. Yeah. So, you, Tommy's, you know that May is uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. So I wanted to speak with you about that. So there are a lot of athletes coming out these days um, mentioning mental health. They're feeling a lot more comfortable talking about mental health. Um, have you dealt with mental health as a fighter? Do you know any fighters, don't mention their names, that have dealt with it? Um, yeah, you know, honestly, you know, when people ask, like, fighters, I, not, every, not all of them will tell you, but all, I, mm -hmm. I, all fighters are very emotional beings. Why? Why and is for, that? And for that set, because, I mean, it's like, like I said earlier, it's, it, you're fighting, it's, it's you only in the ring. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, you have training partners, yeah, you have a coach to prepare you, but you're constantly battling yourself, your own mind, your own heart, your own, your own battles daily. Mm -hmm. like, and, if, and if you don't have everything squared away, whether it's finances, whether it's, you know, relationships, whether it's life, mm -hmm. it can be very difficult whenever you're trying to prepare yourself for a fight. Yes, I agree. So, so yeah, mental health is, I, 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 you know, I haven't really dealt with too much myself, but yeah, I've gone through, you know, the ups and downs, but mm -hmm. mental health is huge for uh, people in the fight game. So do you think that um, fighting can sometimes release, like, what they're going through mentally, maybe? Is it like a release? Yeah, maybe? yeah, I mean, I could say it's somewhat of a release, mm -hmm. um, just because, I mean, 
when you go into a fight, there's not much that you know about your opponent. Yeah, you can watch yeah. some of his, his footage. Yeah, you can watch some of his old fights. You can mm -hmm. prepare for this. You can prepare for that. Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to it, like, it's either, one, are you prepared yourself? True. And two, do you have the mental capacity to understand that during this time in this fight that you disrespect this man until after the, like, He's now nowhere close to your disrespect. Yeah, you dis he's di <laughs> like you disrespect this guy in there until he earns your respect after the fight or throughout the fight. And even if you win, win, you're going to give the man respect just because he went through the same exact battles that you went through um, leading up to the fight. And that can mess with his mental health. And that can mess with or his you. Mental health. Yeah, absolutely. or you. Absolutely, wins and losses. It's it's ups and downs. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it can it can totally change depending on how how strong your mind is it totally can change going into your next training camp okay so you do say i do know that you told me that you train kids you train yeah. kids and you said nothing below 12. yeah nothing below 12. and so being this is made mental health awareness we also know that bullying is becoming more and more common also with teenagers these days so what do you tell your students um your the students that you train the kids what do you tell them if yeah. they're getting bullied because yeah. you you don't want to fight but you do have to defend yourself right, so absolutely. what do you tell them absolutely um you know I, I you know one thing that i was telling you yesterday mm -hmm. you know i'll tell the world now okay uh, <laughs> okay you know there's there's no honor in fighting outside the ring and what and i like that what I like that, that you know what that means to me is that uh you know whenever i was coming up and and competing and fighting like mm -hmm. my coach used to tell me like there's no point. There's no point to be that guy outside the ring trying to beat up everybody else. Mm -hmm. But if somebody is, is hurting you or somebody is trying to inflict pain on you for no reason, uh, be, you know, because they just... You're smaller and they're bigger. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you have the right to defend yourself. So that's why it's good to get, you know... Proper training. Proper training, mm -hmm. whether it's, you know... At a young age, these kids are doing taekwondo, karate, this and that, which tell, which shows them discipline through, through learning a combat sport that um, you know they're they're able to defend themselves when, when the time is is is, is there. So speaking of defending themselves, guys, so you guys know that me, tomboy, and dress, I always like to do what my guests do. So what we're going to do. I'm going to have JR show me some of his techniques and moves when he's training. So we're going to tape our hands, right? Yeah. Okay, it's going to be yep. so fun. Okay, oh, rap. Yeah, oh, what's it, it called? Him, yeah. It's not called tape? Oh, uh, well, maybe that's just football no talk. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it's football we, talk, guys. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to wrap our hands yeah, and we'll stuff. Wrap our hands. And you're going to teach me some, some yeah, stuff? I will. All right, you guys. So we will be back in just a moment, you guys. So stay tuned. All right, Tom B, so I'm now gloved up, you guys. So JR is going to do some training moves with me, you guys. So the floor is yours, JR. All right, All right. So, so basically what we're gonna start off, we're gonna start off using our jab because our jab is the most important weapon um, in boxing. Uh, your jab is, lets you set up the rest of your punches. It also establishes your distance. So, so here we go. You okay? Yeah. Okay, so your jab is going to be your front hand, all right? Okay. Okay, so what I want you to do, I want you to jab. Yes. Okay, pull it back faster. Boom. Nice. You hear that pop? Yeah. That's a stiff jab. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> yes, I have a little practice with no gloves. Though. Okay. All right. Give me a double jab now. Boom, boom. Nice. Okay. Give it to me again. Pop, pop. Good. Again. Boom, boom. Good. So you're going to throw your cross, okay? Your cross is that backhand. <laughs> okay. Okay, give me it. Oh. There I don't you really go. Did with that okay, hand. so give me a one, two. So jab. There you go again. Yeah. Boom, boom. Nice. One more time. Ba, ba. Jab. Nice. Oh. Jab. Jab Hit only. Me there. Jab. Jab. Double jab. Boom, boom. Good. 
cross. Yes, get big cross. Yes, cross. Boom, okay. Give me an uppercut on this hand. So here, you're gonna throw it up. There you go. Yeah, again. Boom, good, one more time. Boom, hook, hook. There you go, hook. This way, boom. Okay. Yep, again. Five. Nice, again. It's different than street fighting. Boom, cross. <laughs> good. So give me that one, two. Boom, boom, good. One, Do two. you bend your knees? Yeah, a little bit, a little oh, bit. A you little don't, you bit? don't want to be too, too oh. down, yeah too bent over, but you wanna have like a little bend in your neck. So I'm gonna teach you how to do a, a dodge. You're gonna move out of the way. You're gonna show me a dodge, you guys. Okay, so you're gonna give me that one, two, boom, boom, and you're just gonna lean back. Lean back? Yep, lean back, yeah. Chin down, hands up, and then throw your cross. Boom, yes. So I'm gonna counter you, you're gonna slip it, and then you're gonna counter me. Oh wait, hold on, what is all that? Okay, so you throw <laughs> the one, two, boom, boom, boom. boom. you okay. hit me with a one, two. Uh -huh. Then I counter you with you slip back, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, now throw your cross. Boom, nice. See okay. that? Do it again. That's called a uh, what again? Slip, counter. Boom, there you oh. go. Again. Boom, boom. Ah! Yeah, there you go. So this is a counter, you guys. Yes. So defend yourself against bullies. Defend yourself okay. against bullies. If a bully tries to punch you, get ready to lean back, give me that cross. Okay. Boom, lean back only. Boom. Oh, punch. Hey, yeah, yeah. All if right. a bully tries to punch you, again, one more time. Ah, Trick them, see? That's it, too fast. All Here right. we go. So the that's it, one, two. Boom, boom, lean back, hey. Bye, yes. Okay, so Tom B's. See, that was a good little lesson. So how long, so if you were trained and you were doing this, I'm on the breath. I want a cheeseburger. <laughs> okay, so Tom, <laughs> this is different than street fighting, y'all. This is like work. So, so, JR, so if you were trained before a fight, how long would you be doing this? The same routine that we just did, like an hour? Uh, no, I mean, I have, you do about, <laughs> depends on, like some, some of my mid sessions are five rounds. So yeah. Five rounds, five how rounds long is that? Minutes. Uh, five rounds, three minutes. So <laughs> 15 minutes. Y'all yeah, I'm out of breath. So that was, that was only like, what, five minutes? Imagine doing this with him, or imagine him doing this before a fight, you guys, for how long? Five rounds. Five rounds. It's actually been three minutes. Going on four. Okay, well, it's been three minutes going on four, you guys, whatever. But anyways, so JR, so, you know, this is a part of a cooking show. But we have to improvise. So you take protein, or you drink protein shakes. You make protein shakes when you come in, and you drink them before, after training, or during? Uh, mostly after. Okay, so you yeah. have the ingredients with you? I do. It's just uh, easy, protein, shake it up, and that's it. Okay, you guys, so he's going to shake it up for us really quick, you guys. And we're going to remove the gloves. This is your little bullying session 101 to fit yourself against bullies, zombies. And he's going to show me a protein shake, okay? So you guys stay tuned. So yes, we had our little workout. Thank you, JR. I'm well. sweating and my hair has had enough. Thank you. So now, JR, this is a protein shake that you typically drink during your trains. Is this correct? Yes. So tell everyone what's the ingredients in here. Well, this is your typical protein. This protein is from Ghost. Uh, my girlfriend actually got me this. I like peanut butter, so oh. she gave me. She got me the peanut butter, um, the nutter butter flavor ghost protein you like peanut butter yeah it's your favorite yeah okay so well, okay so how much do you put in your was that thermos yeah i do one scoop when it comes some people do two scoops depending on but i normally do one scoop because i don't want to do all the calories but mm -hmm. uh um it's just important after your workouts that to throw some to finish up with some protein just to help rebuild your muscles that you just broke down okay well i want to taste a, a smidge all right so let's go ahead so go ahead and talk us through it Keep it simple. Have a, your basic, uh, your basic shaker bottle. And this can be made in the car. This can be made when you get to the gym. This can be made when you get to the ring. Okay. One scoop. One scoop, guys. And then you shake it. Yep. Give it a little shake. 
And this peanut butter protein, is this supposed to enhance your muscles or just, is this a substitute just for food? Um, it depends. Like if I wanted to do a re meal replacement, I'd do two scoops. Okay. But um, just a little snack. after after the workout, okay. it's it's good to put protein back in your body to help rebuild what you just tore down. Okay. All right. There you go. A little bit more shake okay. for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there you go. All right, go ahead and pour a little. That's it. <laughs> All right, you guys, bottoms up. Tastes like water. You like it? Just one scoop. I mean, <laughs> like I said, it's not. It's not for tasting. Yeah. It's just for. It tastes like water. Yeah. But it, and you can taste the peanut butter, you guys. But I'm sure if I did maybe like a 45 minute workout and I just did this to substitute, then. It would be great. If we, and if and also if she would if we wanted to do two scoops, oh, it'd two be a scoops. More, we yeah. only did one, you guys. Just one scoop. So Jr. Save the calories. Okay, so we'll save the calories because yep. I want all the calories right now, you guys. <laughs> but Jr., I want to thank you for doing my show, and I see you have your shirt on, which is your yes, brand. Yes. Go ahead and tell them about that. Yes, my brand, one by Jr. Ridge. It, it, we are a streetwear, active streetwear, um, company. Um, mm -hmm. Find your one, basically. And where can they get some of your merchandise? Yeah, definitely. Go ahead and tell them where you can get some of your merchandise. Oh, uh, <laughs> you, yeah. you go ahead. Yeah, you can actually uh, check out my website. It's one by jrridge.com. So you guys go support JR Ridge. I do want to thank you for coming on to my show. Thank Season you for two. having me. Thank you, Carlita. Is it Carlita? Carlia. Carlia, I'm so sorry. Carlia has been a trooper, you guys. She's in the background right now. So is my videographer and Ronnie because we were in here sweating. But thank you guys for being troopers. Thank you again for joining me on my show. Thank yep. you so much, JR. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. So you guys, this is season two of Kitchen Talk with Tomboy in the Dress. We will be having more episodes. You guys be safe out there. Remember, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. You guys are never alone. And JR, anything you want to leave the people with? Um, I just want to say thank you guys for having me. Uh, hopefully you guys learned a little bit today. Yes. Some, some boxing. Learned a lot. <laughs> learned a lot. And um, we'll see you guys soon. Yes, thank you. Bye, guys.